Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to the channel. This is like my third time trying to upload this because my iPhone's moving so, so stupid right now. But it will not ruin my good mood. It will not. I refuse. I'm not letting it happen. What a game. What an unbelievable game. Chelsea 6, Everton 0. We absolutely smoked them. Roasted them alive. Slow cooking. Unbelievable game. Um, Cole Palmer, as we all already know, absolutely beautiful individual. Sensational football. From the 13th second, he was on their neck. From the 13th second, immediately got the ball. Nutmeg. Ball through. Done. Immediately. And also, thank the Lord that we had a little bit of luck on our side too. Beto misses, has one of the misses of the season. And they don't really capitalise on their defensive set pieces because we did struggle with that. It's just we're not going to delve on that for too long because I just won my game 6-0. What, what are we going to complain about? Like, all this is going to be today is individual prop. Individual prop. And we're going to start off with Ice Cold Palmer himself. This guy has more goals than Havertz ever scored for Chelsea in the Premier League. Oh, but we signed Chelsea's best player, guys. Oh, 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 but you, you miss Kai Havertz. Can we pay you more money, please, Chelsea? Yeah, well done. Look where that's taking you. One guy's cost you a title. The other one has literally got double, maybe triple his goals and probably double the assists this season alone. He's got more goals than Liverpool in April. He's got 20 goals this season with four big chances missed. He's, he's got his one off top assist. One off top assist. Like, this whole Palmer Saka debate that people have been trying to rise up over the last few weeks is over. It's finished. I, I'm not I'm done debating with Saka. You can debate with Phil Foden. You can debate with Bellingham. Debate with real ballers, real, real prestigious football players operating at the highest level for a player of their age. Not this psh, Bakayo Saka. Elise. Alise, come on, come on now. Like, you're doing your thing, but just, just stay on that side. Stay on that side. Like, we, we are sit we are dining at a, a five-star restaurant now. We're not dining in McDonald's no more. So, sorry. Sorry. Best of luck over there. Cole Palmer, young player of the year, needs to be given. Player of the year, I demand a revote. I demand a revote. Get all them votes back out. We need a revote. It's, it's done. Like, this guy should at least be on the shortlist right now. We are literally a mid-table mess. And he is sitting here, joint top goal scorer and one off top, top assister. What are we doing? What are we doing? The football was unbelievable from him. The link-up play, the finishing. He's unlucky that one chance from Madwaki came off his back. Otherwise, that could have been a fourth. For, that could have been a fifth for him. Talking about five goals. Unbelievable. But it wasn't just him too. It wasn't just the whole Cole Palmer. It wasn't just a Cole Palmer game. Caicedo. Wow. Wow. I'm I've been telling people for months, if you want to run this whole Caicedo's flop of the season, then you're only doing it based off price tag and you don't watch Chelsea play. Caicedo is a phenomenal football player. And it's just a shame that he's been a big part of this mess too. Because individually, 9 times out of 10, he's giving you a brilliant performance. 9 times out of 10. Gallagher. Very, very good from him today. And I've been very critical of him this season. Good passing. Fouls weren't really too deep today, thankfully. If anything, it was probably him getting fouled. He got, he got his ankles kicked in like 30, 30 seconds into the game. Um, I also loved the way he handled that penalty decision at 4-0. That's what you want to see your captain doing. And I think he handled the situation really well. Um, Jackson, link-up play, hold-up play, superb as usual. And that goal, reminiscent of Drogba against Liverpool, to a point. To a point. Like, the technique wasn't completely there, but you're getting there, mate. You're getting there. And you are free GNA off 20. 20 this season. And that is a perfectly fine return for an inexperienced striker in his first season in the Premier League. Man's cooking. He's cooking. He's just, it's a bit of a slow burner with Jackson. You just got to let him keep burning. Let him keep burning. He's eventually going to get there. Who else? Gusto, brilliant. Cucurella involved with the fourth goal. I think it was the fourth goal. 
or the third. I don't even know. There's too many goals to even try and um, counter with. Mudrick was kind of one of the more downer, uh, one of the downer performances. I don't want. I don't even want to say downer. It was just with such a high level of performance that we saw today. He had good moments to link up here or thereabouts, and like that was about it. Maduweki as well. I liked his directness. Would like to see him pull the trigger a little bit earlier, but it's nitpicking. It's real nitpicking. I don't want to focus too much on that in this after this sort of game. The defense. We all struggled with the defence when it came to the set pieces. They always seemed to get their heads onto the set pieces first. But it didn't It didn't lead to anything. So, I don't care. I don't care like that. Like, I'm just glad that we're coming out of this game. We've won 6 nil. This is the exact response that we needed coming out of the Sheffield United game. I just need you to keep doing this. Keep building on games like this because we don't do it. We don't ever do it. Like, it was me literally saying a week ago, I'm done believing in Europe. We just drew to the bottom two. I'm, I'm done. But it, they just dragged me back in. They've just dragged me back in again. Like, they, they've done it again. They've dragged me back into this again. And like, I know we're still going to drop points. Like, the next three games we have are, aren't easy. It's Arsenal away, it's um, Villa away, and Tottenham at home. There will be points dropped in that, sadly. It is what it is. But <sighs> we are only three points off. And Newcastle will drop points, and so will Manchester United too. The race for Europe has never been consistent. So at the very least, like, try not to lose those three matches. Take as many points as you can. Especially the Emirates. Do you know how much goodwill you will build for yourself if you take something out of that Emirates game? It goes without saying. Just. Please. We are begging. We are begging. Tottenham at home, like, they hate coming to the bridge. They hate coming to the bridge. I believe we'll take something out of that game. Villa away. Not too sure. Not too sure. Everything after that, though, dubs. I, I need W's. I need W's. No ifs, no buts, no maybes. Bournemouth don't protect the point. Um, Brighton, their defence sucks. Forest away might be a bit tricky. But still, you must. You must. We have a good chance to get back into sixth. It's such a shame that we didn't beat Burnley and Sheffield United because we'd be there already. But that's the nature of our season. Zero consistency. It's just, it's just a real shame. But after a game like that, I'm trying not to think too tough about it. Like, I'm just glad. I'm so glad we came out of this game with a performance like that. Palmer for Golden Boot. Palmer for Playmaker Award. Palmer for Young Player of the Year. Palmer for Player of the Year. And hell, Palmer for Ballon d'Or. Why not? Why not? Big up to everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, potch out, and up the Chelsea.